okay welcome back to the channel uh, so to, so today we will be discussing about a uh, little bit about microsoft windows operating system mm, and uh, understanding the different components of the windows operating system so uh, before uh, we start i want to uh, i want to explain to you what is a software see the basic definition of a software is a software is a collection of programs that are used uh, for giving instructions to the computer this means a software is a program that gives instruction to the computer software can be categorized into two parts soft uh, system software that is our operating system and all and application softwares what is a system software a system so software includes operating system software that enables the computer to function properly by controlling the hardware as well as the software so the system software plays a role of a intermediator between the hardware and the software okay so the system software tells how the hardware should work and everything it becomes a interface between the hardware and the software uh, what is an application software see application softwares are softwares or programs that are designed to designed to do specific tasks like for typing we use microsoft word for drawing we use ms paint for calculation we use the small calculator that is available in the computer so all these kind all these softwares that are used to do some specific task is known as an application software so we will be basically discussing about windows operating system see windows operating system was Uh, designed by microsoft mm, it was it is the most popular operating system and there are various versions of uh, windows operating system i have listed around 5 6 of them like windows 95 windows 98 windows xp windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 there are lots of other windows also if you like windows nt is there or windows me is there lot of different versions of windows are there so we will uh, now we will be discussing about the different components and features of windows operating system so first of all the basic when we open microsoft uh, when we open win microsoft windows we see the term mm, called as desktop so what is a desktop basically a desktop is the main screen area that you see after you turn on your computer and log on to windows when i log on to windows the screen that i see is called as desktop that desktop contains icons like my computer recycle bin um my documents etc there is a background picture to it we call that background picture as desktop background or wallpaper and below the desktop uh, below the picture there is a task bar which is at the bottom of the screen it has a start menu also so if you look carefully this is a, a windows uh, desktop the picture that you see is called the desktop wallpaper if you look at this picture here you will see icons like windows here you will see my document is there my computer is there uh, my network place is there these are known as the icons it is a picture or a graphical symbol that represents an application or a file or a folder then there is a start button at the bottom there is a thing called as task bar in the task bar corner corner part of the left hand side corner there is a button called as the start button it provides access to the application when we click on the start button a menu appears and in that menu all our documents applications are uh, stored there so if we click on any of the doc uh, any of the applications that application or that software opens and the last part is called the task bar 
it uh, contains the start button the task buttons and a system tree here in this picture it is not visible the system tree contains some uh, clock and all everything is there it is on the right hand side of the taskbar on the left hand side of the taskbar the start start button is there and the right hand side the clock is there then desktop icons these are the different desktop icons and if you look at the these are the different desktop icons my computer my document my network place recycle bin and internet explorer so what is my computer my computer in if you double click on my computer it will help us to work on different drives attached to the computer see our computer has a hard disk and that hard disk can be subdivided into two or three parts or portions okay those portions part those portions are called as partitions and these partitions are known as drives so there can be a c drive there can be a d drive those things are uh, present in my computer then there is something called as internet explorer this helps us to browse the internet then we have something called as recycle bin in that recycle bin is used to store or deleted files temporarily or permanently if i want to delete some file permanently or temporarily i store it in the recycle bin then there is something called as my document this my document stores all your documents files folders everything that you might require very frequently you keep it in the my documents then there is something called as my network place here if your computer is connected with other computers it will be shown there who which other computers are connected with your computer it is a place that will display all the names of other computers that are connected with your computer then there is something called as files these are electronic documents like ms word spreadsheets or mp3 files pictures etc these are documents uh, that uh, that are stored in the computer how to create a new file first we right click on the desktop then we click on the new option then we click on microsoft word document because i want to make a word document so i click on microsoft word document then i start delete the old name and try to give a new name to it okay so here i have given a new name word document and then i press enter so my new file is created then what is a folder a folder is a place in the computer where we keep all the related files together how to create a folder right click on a blank space then choose new then choose folder a new folder will be created then delete the old name and type a new name to it here i have given the name as bhaskar sir and then press enter new folder will be created see i can copy some files copy some files and put it in that folder if you see i have pasted it yeah again i will copy another file yeah see I'll copy and i paste and i'll paste it here right click paste see a folder i have a folder named as bhaskar sir and inside that folder i have two files excel document and word document this is how we save a file inside a folder also how to rename a file or a folder here i have a folder called as new folder and i want to rename it so what i do is i right click 
on the folder or a file anything you want then when you right click on the file or the folder a menu appears in that menu you choose the rename option which is below the delete option when once you click on the rename option the new folder name is selected see i delete the old name and type the new name here the new name is i name the folder as dumduma and press enter the name of the file or the folder is changed how to delete a file or a folder in the desktop you choose the file or the folder you want to delete here this is the here i have a folder known as new folder and i want to delete that new folder so i right click on the new folder a menu appears and in that menu there is an option called as delete i click on the delete option and the folder is deleted